If you're watching this video right now, it means I made it to the other side. Future Sarah, congratulations, because that means that you learned Blender in 24 hours. This challenge started with two things. One, I saw this video of a guy doing this in 100 hours. Shout out to Adam. I'll link your video in the description below. Um, what he was making was a little bit more complex than what I want to make, because number two, I am obsessed with a certain style. It's kind of, I would say, Animal Crossing retro game style interior design voxel art-ish stuff. Great sentence, Sarah. Basically images like this. Oh my gosh, wow, how beautiful. It makes me feel something inside. The same warm, fuzzy feeling I have when I hop into my Animal Crossing home, but also I am obsessed with, as you know, creative spaces and desk setups and spaces in general. And the way that you can make objects, rooms, just anything look in Blender, it just looks so ideal and fun and I'm obsessed with it and I wanna do it. I wanna be able to make stuff that looks like this. But yeah, I have absolute zero experience in 3D software and I'll tell you, one thing, it is not the same as knowing how to use Premiere or Resolve for video editing or Photoshop for photo editing. It's a whole new ball game and I am scared, but I am determined. <laughs> Shout out to NVIDIA GeForce for sponsoring this video. I am doing all of this fancy computer intensive GPU rendering in Blender with this laptop. It is the new Razer Blade 17 with the latest ingredients great gradius with the latest and greatest nvidia geforce rtx 3080 ti whoo i am very excited to get to rendering in blender if at any point in this video you're like wow that computer looks amazing seems like blender is not skipping a beat well you can check out my link in the description below for more rtx 30 series laptops okay so my final goal of this video i am going to recreate the desk setup slash office of some of the best youtubers but first we have to learn this program. Okay, day one, it's Saturday. I am in my very poofy sweatpants. Please be nice. And I scroll through hours and hours of tutorials. I almost give up at one point and buy a very expensive Blender class. I check out some Skillshare tutorials. And I will say the fact that a lot of these are like six hours long, very intimidating. I don't wanna do that. A few months ago when I was researching this and Blender just really intimidated me, I actually downloaded a free program called Magica Voxel. Now this is also a 3D program, but it's pixel base so everything is a cube and the way you navigate around this program is actually very similar to blender which actually helped me with the basics so hopping into blender clicking on that scroll wheel is how you move from left to right or up to down and then also how to zoom and zoom out on the canvas um, those basics were just really helpful to know coming from magica voxel now blender and that software it, both of them are free like i'm amazed that all of the software is free you can do so much cool stuff with it and it can just really unlock creativity creativity, jobs, money. So I'm hoping my final result in Blender looks better than this Game Boy that I made in Magica Voxel. <laughs> Okay, so two and a half hours in Googling things, I finally find this tutorial on the exact thing I wanna make, and there's actually a voiceover. So this person walks you through, and it's only 15 minutes. Fantastic, it's quick. The only catch, every sentence this guy says is like a brand new thing I'm learning. So he'll say one thing, I'll try to do it. If I break things or if I don't know how to move forward, I have to Google that. So only four minutes into this tutorial has now taken two hours. And it's all of a sudden 1.30 a.m. and this is what I have so far. Okay, let's pick this up tomorrow. Okay, it's Sunday, day two, I am ready to hit it after I spend two hours watching F1 because I binge drive to survive and now I'm obsessed with racing. I always used to think racing was so stupid. I'm glad I'm keeping focus here. I was pausing the tutorial literally every 10 seconds and then Googling things for 30 minutes because this tutorial wasn't super straightforward but is exactly what I need. So I just tried to stick with it. And then I was just going so slow. I'm like, man, I need to get my reps in on this program. This is more important. So I kind of started skipping steps. I wasn't doing 
everything that he was doing. So a principle that I abide by a ton is the 80-20 principle, okay? You can apply this almost everywhere in your life and it's super helpful to think about the places where you can put in 20% of the effort to get 80% of the results. A lot of people do this with learning a new language. So if I wanna learn Spanish, you know, learning every single word in a Spanish language is gonna take forever. It's gonna be really intimidating. But hey, what are a thousand words, a thousand of the most common words in Spanish that I can learn, mix and match them to say all of the most common sayings, and hey, be able to have a decent conversation with someone who knows Spanish about 80% of the time. So that's what I started doing here. I started focusing on the things that maybe I would want to do in my own render. So I was making sure, okay, do I have the tools to make a desk, to make picture frames, to make a shelf? Let's make sure I know how to navigate in this program really the basics. I'm not going to spend an entire hour to figure out how to make a cactus on top of a shelf. That's not going to do me any good for right now. So I just watched the rest of the tutorial all the way through. Um, I just finished the bed. I learned some cool things about mirroring, how to make loop cuts, how to do the beveling, how to do smoothing with the legs of those bed frames. And hey, after two days and almost nine hours, this is what I am left with. And of course, more knowledge. So I didn't take the time to actually color this photo. I'm gonna wait until my actual render. Um, but that part actually seems like the easiest part. I'm telling you, the muscle memory isn't just there yet that much. So I think I need to just keep iterating, keep going. So I'm a little tired, but I think I'm gonna be more motivated when I'm working on something that's mine, right? So let's do that right after. Just a quick word from our sponsor, NVIDIA. I have been so enjoying this laptop. It's a big boy, but ooh, power. The NVIDIA GeForce RTX 30 series GPUs are at the center of the world's fastest laptops when it comes to gaming and also content creation. Having that super powerful GPU can make such a difference when it comes to rendering, whether you're exporting photos, exporting a 4K video, or what we've been talking about in this video, 3D. 3D rendering. So let's actually see how long it's going to take to render my final Blender masterpiece. Uh, that you can't see yet, um, but didn't it go fast uh, through a lot of my Blender learnings uh, via Blender Guru YouTube videos? Uh, it sounds like a lot of their pain points is rendering. So it's obviously super important to not just 3D workflows, but again, photo, video, gaming. Speaking of gaming, did you know I am terrible at anything other than Halo? Ooh, 248, 250. Okay, honestly, I know how to move. I actually, I don't need this. Ah! All right, next section of the video. So as you can see, it is so amazing to have a 240 hertz display. And also with this specific razor blade, having 17 inches is so clutch for gaming. It feels like I'm almost on a desktop. And also shout out to Razer Synapse. It's so cool how the RGB on the keyboard changes depending on what game you're playing. And really the sky is the limit on how you can customize the RGB on your keyboard. And hey, how about you video editors? So let's render out my test project. This is a 4K 20 minute video, uh, like a normal YouTube video, but we have three different camera angles. We have some graphics, we have film convert uh, as the color grade and also music. So let's export in Premiere and Resolve. We're utilizing those CUDA cores from our RTX 3080 Ti. Okay, so the video exported in 10 minutes and 37 seconds in Premiere and eight minutes and 29 seconds in Resolve. These laptops are built with Nvidia's second gen RTX architecture. To give you the most realistic ray traced graphics and cutting edge AI features like Nvidia DLSS, which stands for deep learning super sampling. This allows you to crank up the settings and resolution so your games can have a speed boost without compromising image quality. This SD card slot is the best SD card slot I think I've ever used in my life. Why, you ask? The SD almost goes all the way in so it's not popping out and it consistently pulls up. You know, I'm gonna do it. Just hold on, hold on, hold done. Ooh, satisfying. Okay, everyone, hey, listen, if you wanna take your creative application, I don't know what I'm doing, I'm just very excited about this. If you wanna take your creative applications or your gaming to the next level, and also simultaneously being on the go, well, check out my link in the description below where you can check out all of the latest and greatest, greatest NVIDIA GeForce RTX 30 series laptops. Really, check it out, description below. I'm procrastinating because I don't wanna get back to Blender. It's very hard. Help. Ugh. Okay, so it's been a full week. It's now the next weekend. So another Saturday night, 745, and I'm about to hit Blender again for, I guess, the third time. 
And it's amazing how much you lose. I haven't been in this program in five days and I'm like, how do I even create a mesh? How do I even do the plane? It took me forever to just be like, oh yeah, shift day, right? So this is gonna be, whew. Okay, so I'm just gonna hop straight into the first setup that I wanna do. It's Peter McKinnon's cool camera desk setup. It seems simple enough for me to get, but I'm gonna focus on the cameras. And also I think he has like the cool Apple display on his desk, so I'll worry about that. And then if I have the time, I wanna do a second one, but who knows, this might take me ages. So oh, let's start the timer and let's get into it. Okay, so we are going to start with the cabinets. I'm actually able to use some of the tips that I got from my tutorial, like basically instead of recreating six or 12 different shelves, I'm basically going to create one and then add the array effect to create multiple ones and then I'll just duplicate that to the other side. This is something I'll have to figure out later on, but basically I'm adding a loop cut to create the different cabinets within that lower cabinet. If you see when I go over to edit mode, you see those cuts. I did the same thing with the window but then when you go over into object mode those cuts kind of disappear so at this point I'm still kind of confused about loop cuts obviously they create different vertices that you can then transform and drag and do different things with but I'm gonna have to figure out how to make those lines actually permanent to where it seems like a window it seems like cabinet I'm actually really excited about adding these lights on the cabinets and it was actually extremely easy in blender I basically just made an object that looks like the light again made the array duplicated them and then went over into the settings and basically upped the emission. Hopefully that reflects okay once we add the black material on the cabinets. Up next is the desk. This one was actually kind of fun to figure out the shapes, uh, how to make them look a little bit more fun, less edgy. You know, I beveled almost everything to make it just more soft looking. And so I wanna see what these LED lights look like. So I actually added two big area lights and this is actually really fun to mess around with because hey, I do video so adding light sources isn't that foreign to me so it's really cool to see how the shadows interact with the different objects so we added two different lights over top and look oh my gosh it's starting to look real guys this is so exciting it's obviously still very plain I've only added some black and brown to add a little bit of color to the image but the most important part that we have coming up next is making all of these cameras on the shelf now I'm not going to go one by one but I'm basically going to make maybe five or six different cameras that look good. I'm going to add materials, add the color, and then I'm going to mirror them. I'm going to add an array to where they basically just populate all over the shelves because I, oh, this has already taken so long. I can't sit here and take like days just making like 500 different cameras. Like I wonder how long it took Peter to actually buy those cameras. Okay, hello everyone. A lot has happened since I last updated you. I am now on the fourth weekend of doing one image and if you have done anything creative and if you're stuck on one project for that long you know it's hard to get that motivation to finish said project so last weekend i only did like one or two hours i was just so burnt on it i was like i can't do it and then i got some momentum back up i basically tweeted out to the community i was like hey guys i'm struggling can i pay someone to tutor me and blunder for an hour and dang the twitter community came through so shout out to arturo who helped me he actually runs a blender server on discord where you can go and just talk to other people who are doing blender so i will link his youtube channel and also that server down in the description below and now i feel like i have a little bit more steam to finally finish finish sir you're gonna finish this the only catch is i am now up to 18 hours so i only have six hours to go from this to completely finish, like something I am prepared to post onto Instagram. I only have an hour and a half left until I hit the 24 hour mark. Um, so I got the glass fixed, but hey, I am just severely running out of time. So I literally downloaded this uh, just as like a Blender object file. I did not make that, I'm so sorry, but I am making the cameras. So now I have to make like perhaps like five more of these and then I can just duplicate them. Oh my gosh, wish me luck everyone. Okay, so I can't believe I actually finished the render. When I look close, there's obviously things that I don't like and I want to change, but the entire goal of this video was doing this for only 24 hours. Granted, that is over a month, so 24 straight hours of work. I set my timer uh, every time I went into Blender over a month. 
and man i should have started with a smaller project i should have started like making one or two cameras like only cameras in blender to start out with because an entire room was a lot but i learned a ton i was having so much trouble beveling anything more complex than like you know a normal rectangle or a square through googling i know some of those add-ons like the sub surface division thing or the other ones helps uh, applying that before the bevel uh, but i I went really ham trying to make a Polaroid camera from scratch, you know, keep in mind like everything's low poly and I want it to look kind of that, not super complex, <laughs> but stupid me, I thought I could spend, you know, that uh, hour getting it to that point and then just adding the bevel at the end, everything would be rounded off and all the edges would be beautiful and circular, but that did not work out and I just couldn't figure that out and so I gave up on the camera so I only made like two or three cameras on the shelf and then I just duplicated them everywhere to make it seem like there were um, a lot of cameras. I'm really proud of this one. I, I thought this looked good and what is cool about Blender is it's activating things in my brain like problem solving things that I really haven't felt since I was actually coding in college. Again, I don't remember any of that stuff that I learned but there would be times that I I was in Python or somewhere else and I was like, oh, how am I gonna do that? And then just a light goes off and you're like, wow, that's smart, Sarah, that was smart. And I'm a feeling that in Blender and it's a good feeling, but guys, this was one of the hardest things that I've done in a while. I am so comfortable in the programs that I know and use Premiere, Photoshop, Lightroom. It felt like I was like breaking my brain and putting the pieces back together. And now that I'm on the other side, it feels good. It feels good to learn something new. And with that, you're probably like, Sarah, just show us the final render. Well, I'm stalling because I'm scared you're gonna judge me. Remember, this is the first thing I made in Blender. I look at it and I see mistakes, but I think it's, I think it's decent. Okay. Well guys, this was a lot of fun. It was a very ambitious video just cause I kinda had to put things on pause uh, to learn a new program often as an adult when you have a job and you kind of get in your flow of things, it's hard to, hey, press pause and learn something new, especially if it's like an intimidating program like Blender. But I have to say, once I got into it, I'm not gonna guarantee like it wasn't as hard as I thought, cause it actually was, but there are a lot of great resources out there. Not only is Blender free, but Blender Guru is free. He has a ton of free tutorials out there. They're not as detailed as I would like, um, but there are also a lot of things that you can just search. I encourage you to start with what you want to make, whether it's like something maybe more ar architecturally focused, like what I'm into, Google that exact thing and find those tutorials. And then you can kind of work backwards uh, and don't feel bad. I, it took me hours to do a 15 minute tutorial. And so yeah, let me know if you have any questions. Let me know if you have another program that you want me to learn in only 24 hours. And there's nothing left to do, but check out my link in the description. Thank you so much NVIDIA for sponsoring this video. I'm telling you guys, this razor blade 17 did not skip a beat. And maybe if you want something different, you can check out all of the amazing RTX 30 series laptops again in the description below. Check out Peter. Thanks for being a good sport, Peter. Like, sub, stay peachy. Okay, bye.